tonight the team at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo is in mourning after one of their two rare tigers died. Her life was cut short after complications with an elective breeding procedure. It's a big step back for conservation efforts as that species of tiger is rapidly disappearing. KRDO News Channel 13 Sydney Stell joins us live from the zoo tonight with what happened and how you can help Sydney. Conservation is a big part of the mission here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. That's why last Thursday they tried a procedure to breed two of their tigers, but the day ended in tragedy. One second they're there and alive and the next second they're not. And so that's a pretty, a pretty hard moment because we all knew what was lost. I mean, we knew what was at stake. Savelli was one of just a few hundred or more tigers left in the world. She came to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo about a year ago to help change that. She was supposed to breed with the zoo's other Amor tiger, Chewy, and after a few introductions that did not go well, it became clear that they'd have to do an artificial insemination procedure to help the tigers reproduce. With a large medical team on hand, things were looking good for Savelli after last Thursday's procedure. I had literally just left the veterinarian hospital where I had talked with the research staff, and I would say they were thrilled. I mean, they, the mood was very good. Just minutes later, though, everything changed. I started getting phone calls and texts and radio calls that said Savelli was in trouble. They tried CPR, but she didn't make it. She was only nine years old and more tigers can live up to 20 years in captivity. Her life cut dramatically short from a procedure that she technically didn't need. It's not lost on us that this some people might view this as an elective procedure. But for the zoo's president and CEO, Bob Chastain, it was not elective. There was a lot on the line. Last year, across three endangered tiger species, six were born in captivity and 11 died. The numbers are simply moving in the wrong direction. On top of that, there isn't a lot known about helping tigers breed. The science isn't quite there yet. With tigers with such a small pool, they have a hard time learning everything that they need to learn. Um, all the while, this shot clock is ticking. For now, the zoo's only a more tiger left is Chewy, and the work to save his species continues. Now, if you want to help save the tigers, the zoo set up a fund to finance more research. They're even matching up to $34,000. For information on how to donate, head to our website, krdo.com. Live at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.